Hello, this is Dr. Nelson again. I'm bringing you a topic. I am done with dating. I am done with dating. That's the topic I have today. Well, let me tell you, everyone wants to feel special. Everyone wants to be loved. You want to be loved, but you are having a hard time finding somebody who will love you the way you feel you want. You know, there's a, one singer who sings a song says, I never knew there was love, love like this before. Never had someone to show me a love, love like this before. I never knew there was love. I mean, there should be somebody who will be willing to love you with all his heart or all her heart and make you feel excited about having somebody of the opposite sex close to you. The issue is a lot of men, a lot of women are having a hard time to find somebody special to call my own. And this is very painful. I just want to bring you some of the cries from people who are almost there saying, I'm done with dating. Listen to these cries and then I'll explain something out of them. I am done begging for scraps of attention. I'm done asking to be thought of. I'm done asking to be treated how I treat you. I'm not going to light myself on fire to keep you warm just until you find a brighter fire. I'm not going to step on coals and glass. I'm not going to swim across oceans to help you, to talk to you, to listen to you when you don't even think of doing the same. I'm done bleeding. I'm done shedding tears for someone who won't change. You see, you're in love with somebody, but this somebody is making you feel bad about yourself. You're trying all that you can to make this person happy, but he doesn't care about what your efforts. He doesn't appreciate what you do to him or to her. It's a high time to say to somebody, I'm, I'm, I'm done with you. I mean, because it, it's no use pretending you're not hurting. It's no use pretending that everything is okay when it's, it's not okay. It is time to find what makes you happy and do it until you are dead. You know what? Yes, you want somebody to love you. What? That's true. That's human. But you need love. That is true. Love that satisfies you. Listen to this other case here. I'm officially done trying. If you want me in your life, you can come and find me. Until then, continue treating me like I don't exist. You see, someone has reached a, reached a stage whereby, yes, I love you, but the way you treat me, I can't handle it anymore. I can't handle it any longer. So he says, I'm officially done trying to make you see my value. I'm officially done to make you feel I deserve the love that I deserve. I'm not a toy. Don't play with my feelings. If somebody's playing with your feelings, please let him fuck off. There's no point in pretending you're not hurting, you're not in pain, you're suffering. You don't sleep well, you don't eat well, you're confused about life. Why? Somebody should treat you like a trash. Listen to another cry here. Why can't anyone tell the truth? They all say they won't leave me, but they all do. I just want someone who won't lie to me. I feel myself slowly falling apart each day and I wonder how long it will take before I fall for good. I don't want to hurt anymore. So you can see, well, I mean, this could be you. This could be you. Now, let me tell you, you need to develop a self-esteem whereby you regard yourself as somebody of value. Whoever rejects you, He's the one who is losing. You see, it's just like a blind person. Someone who is blind when he's given 
a one kilo of gold which is worthy of billion of dollars, he looks right away as a, sto as a stone because he is blind. He doesn't see. He doesn't see that this is the gold. So consider yourself of great value. If someone rejects you, if someone throw you away like trash, he's the one who is losing, not you. You cry because you think you can't live happily without this guy. It's not true. You can enjoy your life. What? what, what how, how were you living before this guy came along? How, how were you living? So why do you cry over somebody who really will just fuck anybody around? <laughs> so be yourself and have respect of your own self. Take care of your own good self. Listen to another cry here. I don't really have any motivation to do anything anymore. I don't feel like wasting my energy on all the pointless day-to-day -day bullshit. So if you don't hear from me, I ran away. I ran away from you. I ran away in my mind. Don't try to find me. See, once you consider yourself a value, you, it's, that's the time to just walk away. <laughs> that's the time to walk away because you value yourself. Otherwise, <laughs> you say, as like somebody said, I can't, even, I can't even explain. I don't even try to explain. I don't know what is going on. Please don't be confused. <laughs> you will not be confused if you value yourself. Because you know what you need. You know what you deserve. Are you with me? <laughs> Are you with me, baby? <laughs> Please listen to another cry here. <laughs> my, my, my B, the reason I left was because in reality, you were hurting me. I was not strong enough to keep us both strong. So I tried to help you find someone who could help you better than I could ever. But you blame me for your scars and the reason you want to die. You think it is not hurting me, but it is, it is, and it is the reason I let you go. Because no matter what I did or how much I loved you, you never truly cared or accepted it. I will always be here, but I don't think I will ever look at you the same again. I will always love you, but you are the one who threw you our love away once you know you made all the effort to make this person see how valuable you are but he has been blind to that fact please you better say i've given up you better tell him i'm giving up i tried all that i can i think i can't do more than what i've already done you, see, you, see, you need to reach a stage where you say well i, I don't i think there's nothing I can do more than what I've already done. I, I did all what I know I should be doing in a loving, romantic relationship. But this guy doesn't really understand my way of loving. So maybe I'm a wrong person for this person. And then you really have come to your sense. <laughs> this is beautiful. Somebody say this I have. Has anyone else gotten to the point in their life where they just want one really good friend? But then, when you think about how much work goes into it, you change your mind. Because you remember how much work you put into past relationship and it didn't bring you anything sweet. This is somebody who has given up and he doesn't want a relationship. He wants a relationship. So my dear friend, <laughs> watch out for people who are out to use you. People who are out to make you a toy to play with. You are not a toy. You were created in the image of God most high. You are of great value. So know your value and hold it dear. If you hold it dear, you reach a place whereby you realize you didn't make a mistake to leave or to dump that person. You did not make a mistake at all praying for you that you will laugh more than cry. I pray for you that you will smile more than frown. I pray for you that you, will have, you have a great hope for a great success in relationship because that's, that's life. My God bless you.